We're all worried about the issue of plastic packaging, but solving it isn't as easy as it may seem. Are bioplastics made from organic materials the answer? Can't supermarkets just make all plastic recyclable? And doesn't plastic packaging keep food fresh and prevent food waste? Today, we're busting the top three myths about plastic solutions. Why can't we just use bioplastics? The term bioplastics can mean two things. Plastics that biodegrade or break down into tiny pieces, creating smaller bits of plastic that are still, well, plastic. Or plastics made up of renewable organic biomass sources like vegetable fats and oils and cornstarch. They seem like a great idea. Who could hate our good friend cornstarch? But they can actually be just as bad as normal plastic. If bioplastics end up in the ocean, they can entangle and endanger sea life just like regular plastic and making them also uses up valuable land and resources and can require chemical intensive industrial agriculture. Surely recycling can fix the plastic problem. Don't get me wrong, recycling is vital for dealing with waste. I'm not saying you should just start chucking everything in the bin for landfill. But unfortunately, our recycling systems just can't cope with the amount of plastic we currently produce. Plastics can only be recycled a certain number of times, so we can't keep recycling the same thing forever. And making new recycled goods out of the plastic we recycle also uses up a lot of energy and resources. Doesn't plastic packaging prevent food waste? This might seem like a question with a simple answer, but the links between food waste and plastic packaging are complex. Sometimes plastic can increase shelf life, but it also increases food waste in other ways. When foods are packaged together, they have to be a regular shape and size. This is so they can fit into their plastic container. Food that doesn't conform to these standards doesn't make it. That means that food is rejected before it even reaches the shelves. Packaging can also make people buy more than they need. If you only need 10 tomatoes for your signature homemade salsa, but you buy a pack of 16, those last six usually end up forgotten on the bottom shelf of your fridge and eventually get thrown away. So after all this doom and gloom, what is the answer? Ultimately, supermarkets need to reduce the amount of plastic packaging they use in the first place. Sometimes packaging is necessary. Pre-chopped fruit and veg are vital for people who have accessibility issues that make chopping and peeling difficult or impossible. But the vast majority of plastic is not necessary, and stopping excess plastic at the source will mean that there's less of it in circulation and ultimately less plastic in our oceans. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.